I guess I'll take your word for it. Thanks. Oh, oh look at that. It just went. I think. I'm not refreshing that. Just to be sure. I'm not. I'm positive. Here. So we got some of that. Here. I'm moving through the pause menu, so. Oh, yeah, we're good. Okay. This is just taking a second to reload. Here yeah. Motherfucker. There we go. Ah, there it goes. Alright. No I want the lock! Alright, cool. No idea why all that just crashed. Yeah. Wait, there's, there's no audio though. There. Oh, there, there we go. Alright. That's the there Batman we go. I know. That sounds like Batman. Quick, pull out your Game Boy. Oh, uh, I can't get this one yet. I need an Ugh. upgrade. No, can't you do the bat thing? No. Well, in this one, do you have the remote control on? No, I, that's not what you do here. You have to get a specific upgrade so that this works at a greater length. Yeah, I think you should just walk into it. At a greater distance. Uh, and like I'm so glad you knew what right I meant by bat thing, though. Yeah. <laughs> There's a lot of different bat things. I was very confused. Honestly, though, yeah. Like, like, that is. Yes, we will do a bat thing. <laughs> Somehow but, did. But you did know exactly Alfred, which bat thing I was referring to. Get me the to. bat thing. Uh, what, sir? <laughs> do we see Alfred in this game? No, we don't. The, I don't even think we talked to The Commissioner either. Gordon in this game is fucking goofy looking, but the one in uh, Origins was okay, I think. It I mean, looks just kind of like Gary Oldman, this I guess, one at that is, point. Yeah, this one's a little bit more reminiscent of a cartoon than it is a real person. Oh, you know what? I guess, like, the Commissioner Gordon was kind of, like, buff and, uh... Yeah. Well, I mean, this one, like, it was just limitations in the game software. Like, Apparently, Cersei's He has the same him. body type as Batman and everybody else. Like, <laughs> yeah, that's true. He just wasn't deemed important enough to be given his own unique body. So we've body. figured out the physics, but we can only make it work if everyone's insanely jacked. That's why they, that's why they worked in the fucking Titan shit or whatever it's called. Syndrome. Is that what it's called? Because <laughs> isn't it like Titan Joker or something? Oh, yeah. Yeah, that'll be there. I thought I'll she was turning on the floor. There. I'm like fucking paranoid that she's going to turn I'll on the floor again. Oh, you're getting something, Batman. I'll be there. Is that Stevie Wonder? Uh, that is definitely not Stevie Wonder. Is it not? No. Right is like, it Michael? Oh, it's Michael Jackson, isn't it? It's like Jackson 5. Yeah. Hey, I mean, that's not Just too far off. Just look over your shoulder, girl. I'll be there. Where is he? I can hear him. He's squatting at you. Maybe turn on your vision. It's cheating. How is that cheating? Fine. We'll do it Sam's way. There oh, he's is. above us. That's why. That's right. Don't you forget it. There he goes. Social hierarchies out the window in this game. Car! He's doing the bird noises. It does All seem like he's the doing noises. the bird noises. They should have like a, a sure GTA that maker that we could make Bloomington. And then, like, have, like, all the fucking archetypes of people. Yeah. He got there really fast. Yeah, he's, uh, he's pretty good at uh, track and field. Does that say Activision on the TV? Oh. see Activision. Is there anything you I don't know, I just fucking... Is, do they make these? No. No, Activision is a different company. Yeah. I mean, they fucking buy up everything. So is EA, who did make this. Oh, this is EA? I wouldn't yeah, guess EA that. is the publisher. The Rocksteady fuck? is the developer. Rocksteady. Like, we've talked about this several times. No, I know Rocksteady. Like, yeah. Because, like, Arkham Origins, what makes it such a terrible game is they <laughs> cut Rocksteady out. 
And so there's no It's only bebop, and I've probably made that joke before, You too. did. You did. That's on, like, the notes that I had, like, <laughs> made for editing of, like, you made this joke, but it was, like, very clear that I did not get it that night. And was just like, uh, yeah, okay. Uh, if I can, like, but I got it when I was, like, watching, like, the thing. And I was like, oh, that's funny that I did not seem to understand <laughs> it. Uh, yeah, we'll move past that. Yeah, I don't, um... It's weird, like, I wonder how they... Because I know what Bebop is, but what the fuck is Rocksteady? Is that, like... What? Rocksteady is a sub- rhino. No, I know that, but I'm like, Bebop's like a fucking, like... You know, it's Bebop like... Bebop is a boar, it's and a, Rocksteady no, no, is a rhino. But I'm saying, preceding that, Bebop is like a style of jazz, like... Oh! <laughs> <laughs> no, Still man. catching up. Rocksteady's <laughs> a rhino, bro! <laughs> like... I'm like, is it like, you know, it's like Bebop and rock steady. It's like, I don't think that's a musical term. Where'd you come up with that? I, it is a musical term. I just don't know what, I mean, it was a fucking, it's, it's a ska thing, right? It, look up rock steady. Uh, that's what I'm doing. Can you just we look have up, a no, no, hold on. Can you just look up the origins of those characters? Like, and mostly I'm just interested in like where the names came from. Like, what characters? The Bebop, Bebop and rock steady. Oh my God. Pay attention, Sam. <laughs> from... TMNT. I'll leave it to you then, my dear. Turtles in a Half Shell. I like how insulting it is to like play this game and then just like spend the whole time discussing other franchises. Well, you know, I mean, Rocksteady and Bebop weren't part of the original Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle comic books. Instead, they were created for the animated cartoon by co-creator really? Peter Lard yeah, and it's fucking a deal with toy maker Playmate. Oh, because they did make everything just based off of action figures. Yeah, okay, that doesn't make sense. Do you know it's Dare thing Double? Of- Dare Double is connected to uh, have, TMZ. Have you seen them? Not TMZ. <laughs> <laughs> Harvey Levin plays Dare Double. Have you seen the Dare Double movie? It's fucking awful. Which one? I think there's only one. Oh, okay. Then yes. The one with... Uh, isn't it like... It's like Ben Affleck and Colin yeah. Farrell? Yeah. It's, yeah, it's not that good. Really, but I've seen bad. it several times. Then yes, it was hilariously terrible. Highly recommend. And then there was the spin-off with Electra. Yes, and yeah. you know what's funny is like I think Chris was always talking about how bad that movie was, and, and, like and it was better. It was like wait, yeah, like because besides Daredevil, besides it just being stupid, it was also very poorly made. <laughs> like it was just it just looked cheesy like as far as like superhero movie it was like really kind of janky feeling you know as f- compared to like it was an early one i guess i think it came out when i was still in high school yeah like, it definitely was an early one but i mean like even the spider-man movies came out it was before they good, had like a whole you know? marvel verse and everything like the first spider-man was like pretty fucking yeah decent. but that's so x-men though. that's like a different company that had it that so they had like more money to put into it I'm just saying, though, like, the archetype was being built, at least. And now it's oh, just, shit. like, oversaturated oh, with... Like, apparently there's a new Batman called The Batman or something. I, I thought it was, yeah. like, a remake of The Dark Knight. Uh, Honestly, it, though, it it's has, all a remake. Uh, They're always, like, origin it Twilight stories. Boy in it. Oh, oh right, Patterson. Robert Patterson. Yeah. Apparently he's good in the world. I mean, honestly, I've heard he's, like, honestly, like, a pretty good actor. I don't know. He was in a. Do you guys ever watch uh, David Cronenberg movies at all? I know you guys say oh, you're a big movie people. I, for, for a second, I thought either. you were about to say, "Oh, he he was in Twilight." Have you guys ever seen that? No, but he had he had that Robert Pattinson in one of his last movies. Um, he does like really creepy, like like gross kind of sci-fi, like weird. Like he did Videodrome. If you guys ever seen that. No. That might be his video drum killed the radio one. star. Video drum killed the radio star. And the one he had uh, Robert Pattinson in was like Cosmopolis or something, maybe like ten years ago, or a little less than that. But if I've heard the guy's like legit, I don't know. I, I don't know. The man. movies like probably certainly don't showcase his best abilities. You know what I mean? Like. I'll give him. I'll give him a pass. Like if oh, uh, I'm fighting Harley right now. By oh Harley. really? Okay. Yeah. Like she's she's done already. That's my party list. Quiet. He just like shut up. Smiles next to certain names. He just like knows. He's like ah, she's not gonna actually like fucking fight me at this point. She's already just like. 
Well. that wasn't Tara Strong that does her voice. Yeah. Because I, I swear she does in some iteration because she's a talented voice actress and it's kind of a... Harley is <laughs> subdued. I don't know. Like, I guess like my problem with Patterson. Pattinson? Robert I don't know. Pattinson? Is it Patterson? Pat I don't know, honestly. <laughs> like, fuck it. I guess like my only two. problem is like, I mean, he's famous from the Twilight movies but yeah. then like... If you ever hear him talking about it, especially at the time, he just shits all over that franchise. And it was like, wait a minute, what the fuck, man? There's a lot of people riding on the like, paycheck, not just you, That's... but there's like people that work on these movies. You know what it is, Don't though? Don't shit on it until after the fact, after it's made like whatever money it's going to make. Then go ahead and shit all over it. I think it's just, though, it, it's got to just be like being young a little bit. You know what I mean? Like, it's got to be being young, not want to be being pigeonholed. I actually saw this interesting thing where it was like, to go, to go back to the wrestling, it was John Cena, and they asked him about calling out The Rock about like... Hey, you're making movies. You're not here doing wrestling. And he's like, well, it turns out, you know, you can't do that because if your shit gets fucked up, then you can't do the movie. All those people are riding on that. And it ends up that you're actually paving the way for me because I did tons of terrible movies also. And it's like, so he's like, and he totally was. I And I, that I so appreciate that because he says yeah. like, you know, he says like, I didn't know better at the time, but I do now. And I'm. I was wrong. You know what I mean? So I think like... What language did he say it in? Did he say it in English or surprisingly articulate Chinese? Um... I'm just being shitty. I don't moment. get the... You were making a really good point and I'm just kind of being shitty. He, uh, he did an apology to the people of China for accidentally recognizing Taiwan as a country by a mentioning it in a promo about how they're airing in Taiwan. And then, like, they got mad, so he cut, like, a video where, like, I mean, he's really articulate. Like, I mean, he sounds like he's been speaking the language his whole life. I think that's how, like, you speak Chinese, though, I think. It's, like, all about enunciation. I'm not sure, because, like... I remember, like, Chris yeah, was learning, I mean, like, I'm, Mandarin, what, which I know there's probably several different types of Chinese, but it sounds like, I don't know. I mean, yeah, he's I a fucking, was. he's a fucking wrestler. You know what I mean? All of his, all of his existence as a, as a, as a professional or as a face or a heel is heightened um, reality, you know? I don't know. Yeah, I don't know, man. I, I like I'm I said, completely like completely change the subject. All right, fine. <laughs> so, did you know that uh, the the uh, the Alfred was a late addition to the Batman saga? He did not actually raise Be uh, Bruce from childhood and help him begin his vigilante career. Then who did? This is I see. I think I already know what's going on here. He wasn't introduced to the story until Batman had already met Robin, Joker, Catwoman, and most of his uh, rogues gallery. By the time Alfred met Bruce Wayne in 1943's Batman number 16, he had already been operating as the caped crusader for years. In fact, Alfred was initially unaware of Bruce's double life until he accidentally discovered the Batcave. Okay, see, at first, I don't want to give away the... I don't want to give away some of what we were talking about earlier as far as your reference material, but, like, <laughs> I, I was thinking, though, I'm like, actually, that does make sense now because it probably was, like, kind of less thought out, maybe, backstories for some of that paint. shit. Mm -hmm. you know I mean? Cause it's and we like, are talking about original storyline, not necessarily the current storyline. Yeah, story I mean, right, because it's just him fighting the villains. At several several, oh, several that's, times over. Yeah. Yeah. That is... I mean, all, how all comics, superheroes are... Oh, Oh, man. books have to do that because I'm a big fucking X-Men nerd and like my god us. like that shit is ridiculous <laughs> like the way they retcon that shit man. It, uh, you had the idea of Alfred fucking. being around when he was <laughs> a kid was first seen in, sup in a Super Friends episode in 1985 hey who's that guy I need someone to fold my laundry He's like my an old super man friend. in uniform 
I always think of, uh, for some reason, I always think of that line in the Tool song, Sober. It's like the the most interesting line to me where he's like, I actually want to do that. Show. But it's like something like waiting like a lurk, like a stalking butler or something weird like that. Like, you know what I'm talking about? You gotta look it up. Yeah, waiting like a stalking butler. I'm like, what the fuck? That's such a weird line. Talking about, like, addiction or whatever. I don't know. I think he lost touch with reality at that point. Not reality. The, ah, fuck, I fucked that whole joke up. Take two. It takes two of us. You know what? I yelled take two instead of I'm just pulling out of this bit and I'm not going to try again. Oh, is that right? Yeah. Now, so. now you're retconning. <laughs> <laughs> That's my head cannon anyway. <laughs> just that, that didn't happen. That didn't happen at all. That was in an you alternate universe. That was in, that was in uh, FC112 or whatever. How are they fucking? It's the other multiverse. God damn it, now I have it takes two in my Does fucking DC head. Does DC have that shit, I wonder? Because, like, Marvel, like, yeah. totally has yeah, to Yeah, DC out of the definitely water. has something going I mean, I feel like none of them have, like, anything that the other one doesn't have going on as well. Oh, yeah, it's because, like, you gotta stay with the stay with the game. Yeah, like, and I mean, they've been, like, they're both doing against the same thing. each other for so long. Like, I mean, there's always, like, a. Whatever DC has, there's a Marvel version and vice versa. Oh, most definitely. In some cases, though, I don't know, though, because there's not, like, a Marvel Batman, though. It, there's not Iron Man? That's not, like, Marvel. But, I, I mean, mean, that's that's their Bruce the Wayne. It's the billionaire. It's their mean, Bruce superhero. Wayne, I guess. But it, like, that's true. Wolverine but... is their Batman, though. But So, oh, okay. I mean, it's, like, the character okay. archetypes yeah, are, like... Yeah, I was thinking, like, aesthetically there. at there's, first. Like, right. Actually, there's a fucking... Sam, that's look fair. it up. That's there's a, a universe where DC and Marvel are, like... Oh, it's they, their combined they universe. They do crossover and fucking, stuff, yeah. Like, there's like it's like Dark Claw or something like that. It's Batman and Wolverine Lobo. combined. Um, oh, really? Yeah. Um, I uh, I remember. Did you know they actually killed off Wolverine too? Because the writers were so sick of fucking writing. Because he was so popular, they're like, we just gotta fucking kill this guy off. Because like we've done, like we run it into the ground. Like there's nothing there anymore. It's just like. Uh, like a superficial fucking thing anymore, you know? It's just like... Oh, do I have to come in from the other way? Oh, this is okay, bullshit. Okay, so it was called the Amalgam Comics. Um, it was, it kind of spun out of the pages of Marvel vs. DC, several <laughs> miniseries which melded ele elements of one or more characters from both Marvel and DC into one. The experiments ranged from the super cool, like, Doctor Strange fate, a mix of Doctor Strange and Doctor Wait, Strange. now, hold on. This isn't Doctor Hugo Strange, Not is it? Not Doctor Hugo okay. Strange. <laughs> and the aptly named Super Sol Soldier, a mix of Superman and Captain America, to the slightly oh. audacious, uh, like, Dark Claw, a mix of Batman and Wolverine, and there Speed Demon, a mix of the Flash and Ghost Rider. Ghost Rider. Uh, an interesting experiment. The movie? universe was a way to excite fans while loosening the their strictures on creatively depicting characters with decades of history. I remember I had these cards when I was a kid that were like Marvel vs. DC, but they were like little playing cards, and they kind of had where they were kind of similar. Like, that's where I first saw the... Who's the old man who whooped your ass in the other game? Uh, Death Deathstroke. It was Deathstroke versus like Deadpool. It was like... Yeah, oh, like, they're the same character. They're exactly, that's what I'm saying, though. So, yeah. like, the rivals were, like, that mirrored versions. And for Wolverine, they had, like, Lobo or something, who I don't really know who the fuck that is. Oh, I know who but, Lobo is. Yeah, he's, like, a space biker. He was kind of, like... But he's, like, invincible. He's, like, dark side. So, like... He kind of had a look kind of like Wolverine a little bit, too. I guess, like, I think his fingers were kind of, like, claw-like a little bit or something. I don't know. I don't remember. But, like, I mean, shit he, like that. He felt like, more like a saber tooth. He was like, he felt to me like a saber tooth, not a Wolverine. Oh, you know what? You're right. It probably was saber tooth versus Lobo. Okay, oh yeah. Oh, my God. That makes sense. Oh, I wish I could see him. I probably still have him because they also had one where it was like the real Sam, will you look someone. up Lobo? Lobo, yeah. I remember he had like a red 
He had like red eyes and like a yeah. red. He's like a space biker. Like one Bandana. of the random facts about Lobo is that like for a school project, uh, he ended up genociding his entire fucking species. Remember? Like except for him. <laughs> All right. Um, he first appeared in Omega Men number three. He is an alien born on a utopian planet. Utopian and, planet he destroyed. And works as an interstellar mercenary and bounty hunter. He was first introduced as a hardened villain, soon fell out of use with writers, remained in limbo uh, as an anti Oh, limbo. That's some well, uh, X Men shit. His I revival think. was an anti hero biker. Um, and oh, that's then, what, yeah. Yeah, that's, that's the Lobo I know of. Yep. That was in his own line. comic in the 1990s. Also, Rebecca Lobo. They Remember also her? Brought in women's basketball. They attempted to use Lobo as a parody of the 1990s trend towards grime and gritty superhero stories. Oh, like the Punisher or something? Oh, characters like Cable, Wolverine, Punisher, yeah. Mm. Um, Lots of patches. If you watch, they have a million pockets in the yeah. 90s. Uh, for all the so he, to, for be, all but because he stuff. actually you know, became had popular, phones, he he <laughs> got some good stuff. He apparently appeared in um, a 2019 episode of Krypton. Wait, so he's DC? Wait, hold on. No, he's fucking Marvel, right? No, no he's DC. He's DC, but he is. It, it basically was. Uh, it, but Limbo. Lobo. Oh, didn't you say he was like in limbo or something at one no, point? No, no, no. It he it, it, in re- reference to the wow. fact that like his character wasn't being used. Oh, I see. Because there actually is like a fucking like hell dimension or something called oh, limbo. No, nothing like that. Dude, I did think that's what you were talking about. X Men, seriously though, the reason why X Men is the best franchise is because they do like space, time, like hell dimension, like all sorts of fucking shit. Civil rights, like all sorts of like interesting things, and like it allows you to have so many different characters just in one thing. It's like it's so perfect. Really. Yeah, what a cool thing to bring up during a Batman game. I mean, you know, pick it up, Batman. Baby. Baby. Tell me a Batman time travel story that involves space. Okay. Yeah, is there anything of Batman going back in time there's in no, space? I, there's definitely Batman time stories, but is there Batman space stories? Are there definitely there, ones of him going back in time? I I got there's got. I feel be. like there'd be more likely him to go in space. I mean, we showed ten times Batman actually went to space. See, because oh, he's a go. he's a rich man. He's like it's just like Richard, uh, the guy who owns Virgin, where he just like it's all comic books, but um, Richard Branson. That, yeah, who did I say? You just said Richard. So, I mean, co- you weren't wrong. Nice. Do you want the answer <laughs> to the question? Yeah. Sorry, Sam. Our, Alex is very crazy. sorry. I'm a, I'm a high man. Not much unlike Bruce Wayne in Space right, 10 times. So, he was in conflict with the Green Lantern, uh, enemies, the Manhunters. Then he was a fugitive from two different worlds. Then uh, it was in the Darkest Night. Uh, he also went to space somehow. Uh, looks like in relation to the Green Lanterns again. Um, then in Superman slash Batman Torment. Uh, then the Supergirl from Krypton. Does he go back in time, though? Uh, I, th- y- you, I told you what the title of this article was. <laughs> <laughs> like, the edibles might have kicked in. <laughs> it's very possible. Maybe that you should go back in time and not ask that question. So, so there are times that Batman has traveled through time, and there are times that Batman has traveled through space. That I'm not immediately seeing a time when he has done both. All right, but have X Men done both? Yeah, of course they have. Do you know that? Yes. Do you 100%. know that for a fact, dude? They Sam fucking died wrong. on the moon, man. Sam, prove him wrong. They fucked it up in X3, The Last Stand, one of the worst movies I've ever seen because they ruined one of the best stories of all time. And the first two X-Men movies weren't even that bad. 
I don't think they're you know that what? bad. You know what? Like, part of me. But the wants, third one was shit. It was garbage. It's such a bad movie that, like, as much as I want to, like, just antagonize you and be like, oh, I loved that movie. X3 <laughs> was awesome. I don't think I fucking can. No, it's it's irritating. Like, it's no Battlefield Earth. Exactly. So, um, X Men Days of Future Past yep. is. It's... Oh fuck! Yeah, that's uh, yeah, of course. And then like the the like the last stand or whatever. That's when they went on the moon. Fucking uh, Cyclops' dad is like a fucking space pirate. That's like the only cool thing about Cyclops is like his fucking dad. Who what fucking Cable is his son? There's an article here. That's four true. times Cable's Cyclops cool traveled through time and space. See, that's like all he's got going for him. Because otherwise, it's like ninety-nine times Cyclops was like a dumb asshole. You know what I mean? Who was still probably right, but no one liked him for it. You know? Quick silver, silver saves everyone in space scene. So, yes. That, yeah. No, they they. I can't fucking, believe I'm almost uh, dead. I, I imagine the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles also. See, that's the thing, man. That's like, that is like the true golden era of, like, fucking comics or whatever. Because they were, like, just doing, like, cool sci-fi, like, just yeah. weird fucking shit with, like, weird fucking characters. Fucking beautiful art, man. Uh, Ninja Turtles travels through space and time in issue 8, 9, 1986. Well, Turtles in Time, the Tur fucking game, the, there's right? a f No, there's a fucking movie, the third movie. Oh, yeah, that, well, let's not bring that. Oh, no, we're bringing you it up. You know what's funny to me? I had to watch it in theaters, goddammit, so <laughs> we're bringing it my, up. My favorite, you know what I remember the most about that movie, though, is the fucking, uh, the previews on the VHS tape before. Oh, my God, you, yes. They had, the it was for Surf Ninjas and then for Suburban Commando starring Hulk Hogan where he was basically having to like babysit like Dennis the Menace or, or fucking Home Alone Kid kind of or something you know just some generic shit but I was like cause yeah that, that movie mm, I don't know I loved it it was the greatest movie I've ever seen please remind me of the plot they went back in time to like China, ancient China or no oh, oh different movie no. <laughs> yeah, no. That is that is an, okay. And, and different movie. Um, they introduced a one kid too, though, right? Uh, Casey Jones or yeah. whatever. No, no, no. Casey Jones was from the first one. Oh, really? Oh, he was right. in the first one, but they considered him too violent, so they cut him from the second one because they wanted it more kid friendly. And they brought him back in in the third one to basically babysit their home base. The second one was my favorite. In time. The second one was even though it had vanilla ice. I still like the second one. Ice, more. ice. Baby. Go ninja, go ninja, go! Yeah. Oh, okay. Are right, we gonna do the other one? Well, Fine. I was gonna do the one from the movie we were just talking no, about. no. I was gonna do the one where he says his name. <laughs> Have you guys seen Cool as Ice? By the way, that movie. I don't think so. Fucking, you would like just cringe through it. Like it's like that sounds amazing. I especially couldn't even imagine being like a woman watching that movie because it's like the whole movie is just about how big of a fucking arrogant douchebag he can be. He's just like like hey dro yo drop that zero and get with the hero. Like he literally says that. Oh to my god. And I he's got wearing a, little a leather jacket that, that says like sex and like word and this just like so oh my and, it, and he's God. like vanilla ice riding a motorbike and it's just like the oh, whole thing I'm is just to make on. him look like the coolest guy ever oh my pussy is rock hard yeah yo i can't i i can't remember anything else from the movie like just look up look up the the poster for that though like What's it's cool as ice just like look up like Ima like just Google image that like the movie Cool as Ice and it's just like you'll just like just from looking at the pictures you'll be like yeah this is like super oh, cringe my like, balls are wet it. in oh, anticipation that's bad <laughs> that's, just, like, that's bad it's peak vanilla ice like they they literally made a movie to make him be like a hard ass this you is know? so bad at least Suge Knight how, like shook him over how has Chris not person. made me watch this oh. ten times already I mean, it's one. It's one of the ones he definitely was like angling for. While I watched it with him, you know. I mean, it is. It is. It was more entertaining than Battlefield Earth. It is so nice. Just because it was way doubt it. Like early, like too. Doubt like, it. 
It is so 90s. It's just, it's fucking, and it's like really poorly made too. Like, I don't even know who, where the fuck that shit, he probably like paid for that or something, his, his management or some yeah, shit. Yeah, I was going to say. When did that come out? Can you? 1991. Okay, yeah, that's got to be like, that's got to be like, Ice Ice Baby's got to be like 1990. Or 91 even. Because you know it came in the fall of 91. Romantic? No, mine went dun 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 dun. And theirs went dun 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 dun. They make him be like a ladies man. You know what I mean? Like it's it's fucking unbelievably cringeworthy. Johnny, played by Vanilla Ice, is a rebellious rapper. What? Sorry, I can't. Sorry, I accidentally started this at the exact same time as you. Okay, I love that. So it's just cutting you off. Sorry. What are your thoughts on Cool as Ice? I love it. It's a great movie. They fucking record this from across the room. <laughs> Some really amateur shit. Dude, notice me. I think actually, like, I might have also watched the Rift Tracks version of it. Oh, that would have made it much better. Or maybe even, yeah, probably Rift Tracks at that point. You know, Sam, just talk over this. Yeah. Please, just, like, make okay. my butthole quiver with oh, that. Oh, there it goes. With anticipation. <laughs> Antissa. Patience. Johnny, played by Van Vanilla Ice, is a rebellious rapper whose ice cold heart thaws when he sets eyes on Christian Minter, played by Christian Minter. They couldn't be more different. She's a straight A student whose biggest thrills come from horseback riding. He's a moody misfit who, tear who tears up the streets with his yellow motorcycle. <laughs> <laughs> It won't be easy to win her heart, especially with Christian's athletic ex-boyfriend blocking the way. But when her, <laughs> athletic. <laughs> but when her dad gets in trouble with gangsters, Johnny proves his worth. Oh, my God. Yeah. Is it gangsters or gangstas? Gangsters. Oh. Yeah. oh. This is still, this is pre the chronic, okay? So, like, I mean, I guess you still got, like, NWA, but this is, this is the year of Vanilla Ice, man. <gasps> He's it, hard R <laughs> from Vanilla Ice, <laughs> probably. I imagine. I don't know. It also has you mean Michael Ice? Gross, <laughs> John Ice? Newton, <laughs> Kevin Hicks. Seriously, I, D. I definitely do recommend watching that sometime Catherine though, Morris. if you want a good laugh. It's just fucking awful. Uh, it's an hour and thirty-one minutes long. Uh, my nipples are so... Oh, my God. Cool. Okay, so it gets a 2.9 out of 10 on IMDb. Wow. It, it gets a 3% on Rotten Tomatoes. <laughs> that high? But it gets a 4.2 out of 5 on Voodoo, whatever that is. Apparently a vanilla terrible Ice's. site to judge <laughs> rating movies. It's Vanilla but... Ice's site. Yeah! <laughs> Google, Rob Van Winkle Google say 72% of people like this movie. What? Well, I mean, like I like I said, I was entertained. Probably not the way I was intended to be. I wouldn't tell anyone I liked it, though. <laughs> I'm gonna tell Chris. That it's probably I liked not it. the right word. Tell Chris that I like liked it, not ironically. <laughs> like I just like really enjoyed it. It was funny because like I think um, when I told him I was over here, uh, he said, "Oh yeah, the last time I saw Mike, he was playing." Mad TV. He's like, in fact, I feel like the last couple times I saw Mike, he for some reason was playing me like sketches from Mad TV. And then like Rick was like, Mad TV Mike? And that was like, uh oh, here we go again. <laughs> the last couple, I, there was one time, and yeah, I did do that amongst a lot of other things that were say, happening. I might have been there even. Yes, you that. were. You brought him over here specifically to watch a terrible movie that he was like, I don't feel like it. <laughs> so it's like, so why are you here then? Did you just come here to tell me, like, formally no in person? <laughs> like, <laughs> have you guys watched Battlefield Earth together? No, we have not. I feel like that needs to happen at some point. 
I don't know why. It probably doesn't actually, but, but it like, just seems like he likes it way more than I do. Is like <laughs> no, the thing. I know, that's the funniest thing about it. Like he loves that movie. Like he carries around several copies of it in like different well, formats I don't know that and he, media. I don't know necessarily that. I mean, like in a way. At least he did. I don't know if he still does. Well, I don't know that. It's not like that. He actually like likes it or not. But it's funny, like when you said, um, you're like he calls me Belvin. I was like. He's carrying around a copy of it all the time. <laughs> and it's funny because, like, he really was carrying around a copy of that for a while. And then yeah. he's, like, telling it. He's, like, oh, that guy's obsessed with... All I said was, like, I was, like, oh, man, I don't think it's that bad of a movie. <laughs> After he cornered me in, like, a five-minute you know rant. He didn't, a, like, corner me. The I thing was is, like, though, that you did that at the peak of him, like, showing that to everyone. <laughs> so he was, like, on... Like, that was probably his, like, as, you know, like, that was probably, honestly, like, the movie he was, like, dogging on the most at that time. So it just, like, latched on to that. Like, it's funny because I told him, too, another one was Abraxas, and Gene really likes Abraxas. So, like, because yeah. <laughs> I, I think I gave it to him because Chris gave it to me once. And, uh, Talk I think he gave me, like, puncher? two copies. And I was like, oh, here, I'll give it to Gene. Gene's like, dude, I actually like this movie. I was like, yeah, I figured. <laughs> like... You know? No, well, I mean, the full story is that Chris is a fun guy, and, like, we're not actually trying to dump on him. Oh, no, check of course out not. Videos. He just likes a lot of bad... Or, we... One of the things we, we do he a lot really is watch a lot of bad He really enjoys hate-watching yeah. videos. But you just caught him at the time he was just hate-watching the shit out of Battlefield Earth. And, like, anything positive you say about that, he's just, like... No, but the full story <laughs> is that, like, it was, like, I had just met this, like, group of people, and, like... Yeah, that was early I on. was at, like, one of their, like, parties, their, like, functions, and I, like, had, like, walked up to this, like, group, this, like, small group of people, like, within this party, and fucking, uh... Chris was, like, had, like, in the middle of, like, all this, like, he came up, like, kind of organically, but, like, was starting in on this big, long rant about how much he hated Battlefield Earth. And one by one, everybody else who, like, knew him just, like, peeled off until it was just me and this guy that I did not know, but I was, like, surrounded by people I didn't know, but I was dating, like, a girl that had, like, this was her friend, so I just was, Happy. like... Oh, you're out? No, no, no. Just oh, me. I thought you said night. Oh, no. Oh, okay, yeah, this uh, was like... Yeah, this is a long time years ago. ago yeah. Maybe at this point. And fucking, no. so I just didn't want to, like, seem rude or anything. So I just, like, stood there politely. And then when it was my turn to talk, I didn't know what to say. So I was like, oh, I don't know, man. It didn't seem like that bad of a movie. <laughs> and he just was like, oh, huh? Okay. And then just, like, <laughs> walked like, away and, like, disappeared into the crowd. And then I was like, oh, okay. Like, conversation over. And then, like, three or four months later, like, I was talking to you and you were like, oh, shit. You know that guy calls you Battlefield Earth, Mike, right? And I was like, what? It was like, yeah, he's been saying it, like, to everybody. Like, people are calling you Battlefield Earth, Mike. Okay, baby, you're and I was like... Man, I mean, like, I don't like the movie. I just don't, like, hate it with a passion. And, like, now I've, like, gotten to know everybody. And so I understood the dynamic where it's like, no, everybody else had heard that rant a few times. And they were just like, oh, okay, well, I'm going to walk away now. Also, then, too, like, I don't think it, it's funny because at least for me at that time, I hadn't seen the movie yet. So I had, like, no opinion. I was just, like, always kind of laughing at what he said about it. And I don't know how many other people he'd shown to it yet. We're going to take a break. Oh, here, just go to the Be Right Back. Yeah, do your thing. Just alt tab and uh, click on that. The...
Boom. Seamless. Get out of here, Jerry. Hey, Jerry. Remember, it's so funny that we already talked about uh, Batman being played by Michael Richards. How does that have an audio? Oh, oh. we have Twitch up. Oops, my bad. <laughs> well, audio sounds like it's coming through. Good. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I can't go in first person mode. Oh, that's lame. All right. Well, I was gonna search for some neat shit. Well, I guess you can't do that. Ain't nothing Oh, there. shit, there are dudes with guns just standing around in here. <laughs> what guy. the fuck? Oh, okay. All He's... right, well, <laughs> maybe I'm just gonna come back in because this is clearly a predator mission that I wasn't paying attention to. Apparently. Oh, you're doing a mission. Well, I mean, like, it's a scene, I guess. Oh, okay, see, I was still thinking of when we first started. I was just fucking I around. I didn't even, like, think anybody was in here. <laughs> He shouted so loud. Yeah, they heard him. <laughs> See? Yeah. Oh, you didn't put your little spray on the ground. No, I totally forgot. You can spray your little bat spray on the ground. One thing I liked about this was like... You can see their heart rate goes up as they get more freaked out from the shit you're doing. Yeah. Yeah, I do think, like, they did get some of, like, the layout right with this. Where are you? They got me! So, it's like Arkham Asylum, Arkham City, Arkham Origins. What's the other one? Uh, Arkham Knight. Arkham Knight is uh, the one that I haven't played. It's I have it on PC, but it is very poorly ported. You said that was the last game to come out? Uh-huh. That's the fourth of the series. I'm as good as dead! <laughs> this can't be happening. Apparently, I'm invisible. <laughs> Let's light up a cigarette. All right, well, that guy helped you a lot. Here, I'll just get out of your way and drop down here. Looking at Where did he go? It's a mystery. What the fuck is it? What is happening? Yeah, we'll just casually. That's how we just drop down floors. We used to have fun. They did make it really hard to get them, though. Not really hard, I guess. Just harder. Oh, shit. I mean, it would make sense if they were trying to flee you, but they were just like... Well, I fucked that up. Alright, your turn. Uh-oh. Gotta say, oh. I thought you'd last longer. I feel like I'm gonna be way worse at the stealth... Stealth ones. Oh no. Unrelated nonsense official is not available. Really? What about just unrelated? No oh, there probably are a couple more on. What if you did like unrelated nonsense? Do official unrelated nonsense. Gaming or something. You in gaming? I'll check that after this. Oh! <gasps> 
It might be that it's too long. Oh shit. Jesus. I thought he was fairly isolated. How do you... Stop being so dang close to each other, y'all. Oh, see, there's okay. one guy way down below. Someone see that come guy here right there. And see if this oh, he saw you. Wait, wait. Oh, God. I knew I was doing something wrong. I'm sure there used to be more of you down there. Oh, what? Oh, that was weird. <laughs> yeah, what the hell happened? Now go, disappear. Alright, you don't have auto proxy, so you'll have to actually trigger it manually. What button? Oh, I see. Yeah, just wait until they're near. Hey. They may not go over there, they're freaked out. Check out your friend that. I can get UN Dash Gaming. Are you guys okay? You're not feeling the pressure as he takes you out one by oh. one. There's also underscore. Oh. Ooh, that should be your name. Underscore? Underscore? Sure. Get them motherfuckers. Uh, UN Gaming Isn't, Official. Um, well, oh, that didn't work at all. You weren't close at all to them. What? Don't just fly in there. There's two of them. Oh, would you say UN Gaming Official? Yeah. That might. Alright, well, good job, Alex. Oh, shit. Oh. You might have failed that. Oh. All right, Sam. Yeah. No. I think UN Gaming official doesn't sound bad. <laughs> All right, Sam. Sam. Sam has the controller. No. So this is her no, playing. No, I do not. It's so funny because every time I hear UN, I just I forget that because I always think it's like you are because I'm dumb. I forget <laughs> like I'm like oh wait, that's just the first two letters of the first word though. Well, you're already off to a great start. Alright, so. You know, oh. don't mock Sam. <laughs> Not me. She's doing amazing. I'm I'm trying to build She's awesome. Sam. <laughs> I'm not fighting criminals poorly, I'm I'm starting a Reddit, a subreddit. <laughs> About fighting criminals poorly. So, yeah. UN gaming official. I think that's probably the one man down. Don't let that number change. Can you ever change it later? No. Where'd he go? I'm, I'm about to hit save, so. I mean, that's if we can't get any of the air ones, I think that's probably the best one. I agree. I haven't been able to get any of the other ones to go. I never like to have, like, dashes or shit like that, because I just feel like it's, like, yeah, makes it more easier for people to fuck it up. You dummies. Oh, Sam, good move with that. You got two of them and put down some gel. I am not. That was amazing. I didn't you, see it. You're amazing. I have no control over this game. I am not the one with the controller in my hands. You're not the one who's so far away? Now, Sam. Oh, you got him! Good job, Oh, baby. shit. I'm so no, you accidentally him. jumped down in front of those people. <laughs> oh man, you you pressed the wrong controller. Sam, you were doing so well. So Fuck, bad. Sam! Oh god, it might be time to reveal that it's actually Alex holding the controller. And he is doing terribly. <laughs> Implying that I'm not near, because clearly, if I'm playing him, I'm not. Obviously. Professional. Oh, good job, Sam. Hiding low. Not touching that controller. Yeah, because it's Alex. That's why it sucks. Oh, I forgot. There. 
there's a seal in there. Good job. Got some ketchup. <laughs> Side of ketchup on the ceiling. At least your ceiling isn't like all uh like that spackle shit like oh, that. Yeah. Uh, no, it sits so low. I'm so glad that they didn't try to do anything. Yeah. Like you only do that because it's hard to fucking make a ceiling even. Like if you look over at the corner, like it well Yeah, you, it fucking it looks all uneven and shit. Like it's almost impossible. Like all the imperfections are like you can see them like a mile away. So everybody just uses that like popcorny shit or like the fucking the spiky shit. <laughs> and also when you're tripping you can look at it. it forms patterns. Abraham Lincoln once gave a speech next to this bench. That's what that bench would say if they were if it were in Illinois. What do you call a detective? <laughs> this bench is next to a tree that was chopped down and replanted next to another tree where Abraham Lincoln took a shit. That's an important tree. It is. It was next to an important tree. I read that on a plaque next to a circle K. <laughs> in, a, in Illinois. And that's... That's how you know you're in foreign land. You said your first offer to help Gotham was rejected. How can you... Stop, please! I'm not in court. Abraham Lincoln jacked off next to this Casey's Pizza. But it wasn't a Casey's Pizza, it was a log cabin. You fools don't stand! It almost sounded like that was ha that sound was coming from outside of the game. I was like, what the fuck is that? Uh, it's just my neighbor. <laughs> He's just running his big trigger. I kicked you right in the fucking forehead. You gonna take that? You go get him, baby. Thanks. Are you okay? I'm fine. I eat punks like these for breakfast. You eat punks for breakfast? The ones that were Gross. Me went over there punks, that's all I eat. And it makes you grow big no and strong. I I'll wonder if they here. wanted to put pieces the of shit. That would funny. Like, I eat pieces of shit like that for breakfast. That was a good line. Yeah. I eat pieces of shit for you for breakfast. It's probably like the last good Adam Sandler movie or something. Probably it was like his second. Oh, uh, that was like Adam Sandler in his prime. Happy yeah. Gilmore. I'm I, out of the two. I think those two are probably his best. My favorite was uh, Billy Madison. I think. Which, honestly, like, I don't know that I could really honestly ever watch either of those again or any Adam Sandler, but, like, that's that's peak Adam Sandler, for sure. What was after? What was it? Oh, Waterboy was okay, too. That was probably you know after. Waterboy was great. I mean, he had a lot of good movies, I mean, and, but he just had a lot of stinkers, too. I mean, and, like, the stinkers really fucking stuck. It, it's it's Kinda like a it. it's a trend because honestly it like, like Joker is booby trapped most comedy box. movies aren't great than especially before, like it's a probably I like to take. more recently too than because there were probably more back then like and especially like even like SNL movies they made into, or skits they made into movies were actually pretty decent like in the nineties you know like Wayne's World Night at the Roxbury like. Um, then they also made like they made like a ladies man movie or things that just didn't like work even though the sketches were fine. It's like, fuck. Oh, we've been. Huh? Oh, I'm oh, 
Or do you remember? Oh, I got it just in time. Do you remember that Corky Romano was a movie that existed? Fucking uh, the ladies' man sketches, like the ladies' man movie. We uh, we been watching old school wrestling. Or they had a superstar so, like, movie too. Yeah, but we've been watching old school wrestling in a completely legal and legit fashion. Uh, so we see old fucking commercials, and so they're like advertising ladies' man right now. Oh yeah, that's like, so funny. Cause like I like Tim Meadows, and I thought those sketches were like kind of funny, cause, just cause he's kind of funny. But like, I can't imagine that you make a movie out of that. Like, like I'm just streaming. Oh really? Yeah, that's how they control their trolls. Like you got to go on there, and you just got to like get points and certain subreds. Like, because some well, subreds just won't let you one. come in That's if you don't have enough points because you clearly just made a profile. It's so, it, just in case you're a troll so and you're just creating, like, 50 profiles to, like, just attack somebody. <laughs> or yeah, fucking I, uh, upvote some other bullshit. I like, joined a bunch of appropriate to our category subreddits and I will, uh... It's yeah, we just gotta like like on comments and post on things and things yeah. like that, and then we'll get enough points that like we can create our own like posts. Okay. And then like we'll just ask people, you know, like, hey, do you want to watch a tour of like my Fallout builds because they're fucking immense and intricate? Yeah, it's funny because like I never really like I don't know. I definitely feel like I've underutilized Reddit. Although, like, it's definitely a good resource for when you, when you're like Before trying to find some long. shit or get some answers. Like, so a lot of the redirects go there. Ooh. At this rate, you'll never catch me. <laughs> I'm glad we had a whole cutscene just for that. Mess. Well, I'm actually realizing that I went out of order. I was supposed to go in this room, and he was going to taunt me on the other side of this moat that was electrified. Oh, well, And I then mean... I was going to, like, have to go in and figure out how to, like, de-electrify it, but I just went and did that. Ah, oh, well, there you go. Uh, so now I should be good just to walk through. Yeah. And so they just had to go to that other one where they're like, oh shit, well he's just gonna blow up this this wall and just fucking leave. <laughs> but he forgot about this man-sized vent right here that apparently no one else can fit in. <laughs> well, yeah, they're all so ripped. So ripped. Even, even more than Batman, apparently. You can't see Jim Gordon getting in that. Man, if you know it's good for you, you better leave Jim Gordon's name out of your face. Just reenact a little Die Hard in these months. Uh, yeah. Snakes. It had to be snakes. That's Die Hard, right? Um. There ain't no snakes on this plane. Cause I died hard. Die hard. I ran out of bullets. Go on top of the roof. I ain't got time bullets. to bleed. Cause I'm die hard. Great. Great, great Christmas movie. What a fucking awesome movie. Like, I like the part where he gets, like, left home alone by his family. And, like, he has to defend his house against those burglars. And huh? so, like, he just, like, sets all those shot those traps and, like, he kills, like, all the clones of those, those guys. Hans Gruber is pretty great. Um, I would like, I would have liked to have seen It's Too Late Now. I he's, really he's like, too old, but I would have liked to have seen just a just uh them reshoot that with Tom Green playing Hans Gruber. <laughs> just <laughs> but like but like you know what I mean, like early two thousands Tom Green or whatever. Oh, that I think he I mean it kinda looks like him, you know. Like, I really I really liked his late like 
ballet performance, like, during his later stages in life. Who, Tom Green? No, Hans Gruber. Oh. Tom Green's weren't that great. No, you know what Tom Green ended up doing, and this was, like, ten years ago, is he put out, like, a fucking rap album. Oh, I bet that was amazing. it was not good. But he, I remember he had one, one of his lyrics was, I, I jack off in a Ferrari so I can come fast. I thought that was kind of fun. But like. Hey, the, first person. Mode. I don't know. Remember when he put out the bum song and then he got, I remember he put that out and then he got the number one video on TRL long enough that they retired his video because that was a thing that happened. Back in the late 90s, or whenever the fuck that I'm was. I'm glad to say that was I don't thing remember that happened. any of that. Was when, remember when Carson Daly was a person that people knew? Carson Can you hear me Daly? Now? He kind of looks like that guy, I think. I don't know. <laughs> what? Are you? I think so, with glasses. They could have been the same guy. I don't know. No. There's no way you're thinking of the same person. Yeah. Sam. Sam, look no, it I'm up. Not That's saying, definitely I'm not saying that, Carson Daly. I'm not saying they're the same person. I'm they saying if Carson Daly put on a... I'm fucking saying that they're the same person. No, they're person. not. Look they're it not. up, Sam. Look it up. They're Can not. Can you hear me now? Look that guy literally... That is the only thing that That is guy Carson has Daly. No, it's look not. It no, okay. it's not. Look it up. No, it's not. Look it up. Let's put money on this. Mike, look it up. Mike, this is Carson Daly. Yeah, that's fine. No, look up. Can you hear me now? If I'm wrong, then I'm wrong. And, like, it'll be the first time. Mm. So, like, I probably won't, like, handle it that well. But, like, <laughs> you know, if I'm wrong, I'm wrong. And here is the can you hear me now? No, no, no. Guy. Look up the words. Can you hear me now? Look up who did the campaign. Don't just show me two pictures of guys. It's not Carson Daly. It's definitely Carson Daly. If Daly. anything, it, it might be the guy from Weezer. We are Weezer, Weezing along. The very first thing that comes up when you write in the words, can you hear me now, is the song, can you hear me now, by the score. Well, she goes by Carson Daly. Okay, obviously that's not what we're looking for, Sam. Immediately followed by the Verizon wireless commercial that shows the guy who is not Carson Daly. (laughs) Look up. <laughs> See if it is. Stop just looking up pictures of shit. <laughs> it is not at okay, all. Do you it want is. the actor's name? Yes, that's okay. what I've been asking no, you, you repeatedly. You I wish we had a chat oh so they God. would be I mean, so yeah. mad about this right now. I said I was looking up the guy, and you said no. Look up the words. Can you hear me now? So I did. Rivers Cuomo. I think that's not the guy from Weezer. Paul. Marchielli, born t- May 24th, 
man. I'm so proud of that image right. slideshow I made. Uh, We should be, yeah. We should be back. Are we back on streaming? Yeah. Did you restart that? It should just be going. There yeah, there it is. Oh, uh, okay. All right. All right. It was just on the podcast. All right. So, for those of you who were listening, uh, I'm very fucking wrong. It was not <laughs> Carson Daly that for the. What was it? The. God damn it! Can, Can you, you hear, hear me, me now? now? Can you hear me now? Campaign is not Carson Daly. Samantha, who was it? Paul Maricelli, born May 21st, 1970, American actor who is currently the spokesperson for T-Mobile, but was the spokesperson for Verizon. Wait. What past tense was the spokesperson for Verizon, which was the Can You Hear Me Now campaign? T-Mobile stole him. No, I know, but I thought it was Sprint. That Does Sprint still exist or did T-Mobile buy Sprint? T-Mobile and Sprint are operated out of the same stores with T-Mobile on the sign. Okay, so yeah. Because I think it might have been initially Sprint because I remember him in like a yellow Yeah, I don't thing. know. But I Because uh, that was supposed to be a big thing. They're like, ah, we got your what? guy. We got your boy. He's saying we're number one in service. And then they got bought out by another company probably. At least in my... I don't know. I think that might have been what happened. All right, so I think the point is that I was right all along, and I was like, he's definitely not that guy. And you were like, what a dumbass. You were like, oh, yeah, he was. Sam, and look. I was like, no, and that's definitely recorded on video. That's right. Like, you I'm clip right, this, Twitch. you're wrong, and that's, like, Sam's witness to it. She backs me up. I speak on her behalf. It was Sprint first, and then T-Mobile acquired Sprint, so it became T-Mobile. Because, like, isn't that fucked, though? Because Sprint was, like, one of the God, biggest ones, wasn't it? Yeah, but they their network was actually fairly door. small. It didn't have as good a service as AT&T and T-Mobile. Wait, wasn't Boost Mobile also by Sprint, then? Boost is a separate thing, but is associated with Sprint. Okay. What a tangled web they weave. All these fucking cell providers. And AT&T also got bought by T-Mobile, I think, too. No, AT&T is still separate. They are? Okay. I know that because Mike is a different cell phone carrier than I do. Okay. Wait, AT&T still exists on its own? Yes. Okay. The There's even oh, AT&T wait, 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 wait. I'm thinking of U.S. Cellular. Oh, yeah, no, they've been acquired by somebody. A while I think ago. it was, maybe it was AT&T then. AT&T yeah, that's... acquired U.S. Cellular. Because I used to have a girlfriend, I think, that was like U.S. Cellular. And then I think her number two. I knew you were lying as soon as you said yeah. you Well, she's in Canada, too, so it's like out of area code and shit, you know what I mean? Oh, yeah. Anyway, you know. Yeah, she was, yeah. she, you know, I saw, I, I, she could tell you about the trucker creepy. convoy, you know. Okay. <laughs> Let's not get that quite that toxic. Trudeau was <laughs> that fucking pull pull pot up there in Canada. Hold on, I'm doing the Johnny Bravo. <laughs> Are you okay? <laughs> Do I look okay? Sweet moves, they were Batman. Kill me. We were in the aviary hiding out, and they came in with Joker shooting up. Wait, the who the fuck is that <laughs> though? Like, it's some guy, man. Oh, he's a janitor. I was gonna say like. No one's come out since. All these fucking people, like, just getting Stay held here. hostage by these motherfuckers. Okay, you know what, Batman? Okay, I see you. That's nice. That's nice. You're doing something nice. These guys just trying to work. Well, Batman nice. does nice shit all the time. Just not, very, nice. not very clean in like, here, but, uh, Not you know, if you're an fine. asshole. He's it's kind fun. of an asshole to you if you're an asshole. Why is that guy... Why is he standing like that? Because he got beat up, dude. Oh, okay. Yeah. I'm impressed. That was one of the more taxing ones. Really? Was it? Are you sure? Because it was, like, right there. It was just a bunch of toys left on a bench, Riddler. Oh, though, um, looking at a picture of that guy, though, the the Verizon guy. Yeah. Doesn't he kind of look like the Oh, guy that from motherfucker. Weezer? I hate yes. that motherfucker now. That, See, like, because when he when you said that when non you said, Carson um, Daly piece when you said of Carson shit. Daly, like the first person I thought of was Rivers Cuomo, and I only fucking know that name. I don't know why because I never really listened to Weezer Where that much. 
Oh, Remember when Weezer was really Oh, dude, huge? I yes. definitely thought you were talking about the governor. I thought you were talking, like, some political shit that I just didn't know about. It's a mix of uh, like, Andrew Cuomo a and new River Cuomo Phoenix. Brothers. <laughs> <laughs> Johnny Depp and Chris Cuomo mixed together. Alright, you guys hey. want to call it here? Yeah. Yeah, there's this. this. We'll be back so later. how how far do you think we are though through the through the story though? Uh, like 30 